Fellow comedian Geroud Farley is the supporting act tonight and he's joining us for the last supper before showtime. Seabass would be nice and light. You're always funnier after a sea bass, Are I you? find. Are you? Are you? Did you do the London thing? No, I didn't, actually. I've always kind of been... Commuting? You kind of well, I, yeah, I go back and forth. I, I support Sarah Millican in the UK and I... What? Go, uh, <laughs> He's just been on the road with Sarah Millican, yeah? So, yeah, But I'm who still was the most crack? Sarah. Oh, my God. Can oh, my Sarah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She's okay. really cool. Like, she's, she's massive in the UK. Yeah, isn't she? huge. Like, I mean, all the, it's so funny. I have a deal with the tour manager that they don't tell me how big the venue is. Yes. Because <laughs> I just look at and That'd go, it's a bit of Baker Street. It's Baker Street. Yeah, it'd be way but too scary usually, though. You think in terms of size. Yeah. Three or four times. Like. Yeah, three or four well, like, times. You've done these like massive venues. Mm. You know? Well, now, like, now oh. the arena is a different thing. So mm. That's like. The arenas that they play are, that's a different animal. That's like, like rude. The, the Vicar Streets and the Olympias are lovely. That's about a thousand so people, 2,000 is fab. So like yeah, the Apollo, yeah. places like that. But then when you get into arenas, like the three arena, seven, eight thousand. Oh, that's scary. That's like, when you get to the size where if there's a fire drill, it's going to be a real problem. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> that's exactly. That's when you really have to start to worry. So what happens if basically the audience are shite? <laughs> Unfortunately. It does happen. You get yourself out of it, like you. I mean, that's. Like it's experience just makes you. Years of experience, you kind of just learn to. And in the early days, that's an awful thing to happen. Oh God, yeah. And you don't know how to. No. Deal with it. Yeah. But now you just go security, could you remove? <laughs> <laughs> As a joke, and then they go. <laughs> Literally nothing with phases now at this point. I had one where right at the very start, just after I did a telly thing, I got asked. Oh no. I got asked to do stand-up at somebody's 80th birthday, Oh, I think, Jesus, why that had did you say yes? laughed at the set on the telly the previous week. I wanted to be there like an hour beforehand at the party, and then they were gonna surprise this poor woman. They said, we've got a big surprise for you. And she said, are you sending me over to America to see Daniel? Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> wow, that's no. like a real... Horrendous. Did anyone laugh? Um, well, that is a brilliant story. I know story. that the person that didn't laugh was the person whose party was, because she just kept saying, what's he saying? What's he saying? What's he saying? Oh, no. What's it he was, saying? Oh, it was horrific. It's just That's madness. awful. Madness. But it's madness out there, though. Like, the, it's the acts that go on are... It's insane. Crazy scenarios. I think I'll, I think I'll get out of this. You'll never no, get out of this. You'll never get out of this. You say this all the time. As you say, God knows you've tried, do you? <laughs> keep moving, and it. they keep pulling me back in again. A rainy night in Dublin, but the show is about to start. And I finally get to see Deirdre in action, live on stage. Oh, hello. <laughs> Didn't see you there. So the crowd, the audience are coming in now. Next door is Deirdre and Garoud, and I think they're kind of having a little powwow. Garoud's going to go on first as the warm-up, and then Deirdre. And she's on for an hour and a half. Come on, Dave. Oh. Get a room, guys, please. Family viewing. This is my prop gin and tonic. Just... Can I go? I, I want to go. I want to go. Oh, 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 oh. I want to go. Hey, Grode. What? Grode. Take your time. Take your time. Go on. Let's listen to the room. Well, I'm the audience. This is the part of the stairs. Okay. Okay, is that a good sign, yeah? Oh, God, I'm excited now. Okay, good, yeah. Listen, you are all over this. Yeah. I'm wired now. Okay. I need to go, I go from okay. snow to a ladder. Deirdre Kane needs to rest, everybody. Thank you. She will be in number three. I don't know, anyone here have kids? Yes. <laughs> Nobody happy. <laughs> Who here doesn't have kids? Yes. Do you hear the will to live in those? Do you hear that? That's excitement. That's the joy of being alive. That's what that is. Do you hear us? She's going on there. We're waiting for her intro. Absolutely right. It's so different to welcome. Okay. 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 Um, I think I'm very lovely audience. It is always an absolute pleasure uh, to bring this woman onto the stage. She is just a fantastic comic. She is a wonderful human being. <laughs> Journalist! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the fabulous Deirdre O'Kane! 